Is it the same one that we had back home, you think? Yeah, that it's very similar. Very similar. What's the moral of the story? Don't buy cheap shit. <laughs> da, 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 da. Welcome to your new Dyson machine. Before you get started, you can activate your free two-year Dyson guarantee. It just takes a few moments. Right. Probably do that. Use your manual. I think this will be pretty self-explanatory. Open that up to close it back down. Magic wand. Brush. Oh, not for your face. Dyson vacuum cleaner. Max mode. <laughs> sorts of things for Chinese cuisine, Korean, Japanese, Singaporean, um, Indonesian, yada yada yada. Um, so it's my first time ordering from them. I just picked a variety of stuff. So let's see. Oh, Japanese cup noodles. Uh, these are Ramune sodas. They're Japanese sodas. This is melon flavor and this is original. Ryan and I really like these and we haven't had them in a while. And I saw them, so I just ordered two to try. I was running out of oyster sauce, so got another bottle of it. This is a staple in an Asian household. Also needed soba sauce, so got that. This is, uh, it's like a Korean dessert made with sticky rice or sweet rice. Um, you just this version you just have to put it in the microwave for a couple minutes So I decided to try that out. This is another microwavable Korean porridge I don't know if I got the right ones, but these are Sweet potato noodles Chinese style and they're very thick um, I heard these are really good in hot pot. So I wanted to try them so I got two packages of these. Hopefully they're good. Ooh, this is little um, bread, Japanese bread. They look good. Also got this. So this is a Japanese, I guess, sauce for pasta noodles. Um, and it's mentaiko, which is polyp roe. 
I usually get the real Paula Grow to make these pastas, but it's really hard to find them in London. So I saw this kind of instant version of it. So I'll try this out and see how it is. This is um, crispy rice. So a lot of Koreans like to eat this when you're feeling a little bit under the weather or for breakfast, you just put this in in a pot of water and it's kind of like porridge, uh, but it has a very almost nutty flavor to it and we really like this. This is the Heidi Lao hot pot sauce. So we tried the spicy version, didn't realize it was going to be that spicy. Uh, we're not good with spicy food, but that was really, really spicy for us. So we actually couldn't even eat it. I heard the mushroom version is really good, so I wanted to try this one out. Mapo tofu sauce, another staple in our household. Another cup noodles. Also needed some soba noodles, so got those. Also from Heidi Lao, it was a hot pot dipping sauce. Uh, it says original flavor. I don't really know what that means, um, but I'll try that out when we do hot pot next time. I've never tried these before, but I've heard great things. I think it's often listed as one of the best instant noodles in the world. So really wanted to try them out. So I just got two packets. They're actually a lot smaller than I thought. This is another Korean porridge. It's made out of sweet pumpkin. These looked cool. Um, they're little rice snacks, it looks like. Oh, I just saw this as well. I don't really know what it is in detail, but it looked like um, you could eat it as a meal substitute. So I'm not going to eat it, as, drink it as a meal substitute, uh, but I was thinking maybe it would be nice to have a cup of this in the morning as breakfast. It would be easy, so just wanted to try it out yogurt gummies these are really good i haven't had these for in ages and they sold it there on the website so i had to pick one up and these these were our one of our favorite gummies when we visited japan and they also had these and they weren't too expensive so i just picked one up as well and this is what i'm most excited about um, they had these bamboo steamers and I have like a normal steamer thing that you put in a pot or a pan uh, but this looks so much cooler um, and I thought it would be cute to steam any dumplings or a dim sum in here um, so yeah we'll try this out it looks pretty cute it also comes with a lid and I bought these little I guess dim sum paper that you put in the steamer it's a bit smaller than I thought it would be, but it's okay. We can layer it on, like use two or three of them at once. First time making cheesecake, and I decided to try out the souffle cheesecake. I found this recipe, so I'm gonna try that out. Hopefully it turns out well, since it's my first time. So yeah, let's try it out.
Is it a pancake? <laughs> I don't know why it's so thin. That wasn't my intention. I'll try to make it look thicker. Nice pancake. <laughs> That's messed up. It's a very good tasting pancake. Let's see. Uh -oh. That's okay. Here you go. It looks good. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's my first cheesecake or pancake. Does it taste like cheesecake? Mmm. Not bad. Mmm. Yeah? Yeah, it tastes like cheesecake. <laughs> I just expected it to be a lot bigger. <laughs> Wasn't my intention. Good. Try it.